today's the day we get to check out The Sims 4 Life and Death for the first time. I'm so excited. Big thank you to the EA Creator Network for giving me early access to this so I can check it out and show you guys the scoop. We're not wasting any time. Here's what you see when you load in. Oh, welcome to The Sims 4 Life and Death. Build your Sims bucket list with goals based on traits and relations. Complete them for powerful rewards. They can also be finished in the afterlife as unfinished business. The ultimate reward is rebirth, but you can also move on or stay as a ghost. You can join the Grimm's career to reap souls and help ghosts. I'm literally so excited about that. Or become a mortician to deal with death in another way. I believe the mortician job is a rabbit hole. Like it's a it's a classic Sims career, whereas the Grimm's career is an active career, kind of like the actor or scientist. Explore crypts, build thanatology skills, and pursue the ghost historian aspiration. Bond with a pet crow or collect tarot cards, ideal for macabre Sims. Why can't this word be macabre? God, I want to say macabre so bad. Macabre. Goodbye for now. Sims grieve in four ways based on personalities and relationships. Customize grieving rituals to fit your story. Create wills to pass down heirlooms, assign guardians, and distribute simoleons. Honor the departed with memorials, urns, and custom grave sites. And linger as a ghost, helping or terrorizing the living. Grow abilities, assist with chores, or levitate sims for fun. Earn fear or goodwill essences from interactions. Enjoy afterlife activities, including special spectral woohoo with another ghost. Woohoo, you say? We are going to start in create a sim. Popping right into the hair. I need to see. Oh my God, we gotta make her black or something. Oh my gosh. It's giving like Adam's family. I love it. Oh, wait, that's actually cool. Of course it changes with the different color. Oh my God, wait, that pink. Oh, that pink and brown. That takes me back to my pink hair days. Cute, love the little braids with the bangs. Love this one too, love it. And they have the highlighted version as well. I love it. We have this little bun with the braids. We've got a little bit of a shaggy haircut and with like an ombre top top to it. Oh, we've got the slick pixie cut with the curls. And of course, a freaking mohawk. I feel like I need to go with this one. Maybe this one with the pink. Oh, the teal's cool too. Whoa, look at all these colors. Whoa, whoa. Looks like Valentine's Day. Stop, the pink bun, the blue, that's adorable. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this hat. Look at that, it's got like a little snake on the side. Wait, that's sick. What would it look like if I put the hair down? Oh my gosh. Oh y'all, that's cool. For accessories. Oh, we have some earrings. Oh, those are pretty. Some different colors. Oh, what are these called? Gauges? I haven't seen these since the scene kid days. We also have these cute glasses. There's something here that needs to be unlocked from the Undertaker career. It looks terrifying. And there's also this beautiful necklace. Is that a cat? What is that little thing on there? Oh my God, it changes. A crow, a dog, a, a lady, another dog, a flower, a, a wolf, no ponytail, ponytail. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so freaking cool. Okay, for makeup, wow, that's really something. Oh wait, it's not all weird. That one's not that bad. That one's subtle. These are so scary. And there's also this lipstick. It's almost kind of shadowy in a way. When I've changed up her eyes a little bit, I wanted to make them more scary. But honestly, none of them are really that scary. Oh, the dark eyes? Let's do that. Scary. Okay. Oh, Oh my God, look at the clothes, you guys. Eee, look at the clothes. They look so good. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. This is so cute. Love that it comes in solid colors too. Look at this. Oh my gosh, middle school me would be losing her mind. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, and the little bow, the green. Oh my God. Look at this one, gorgeous. This one tucks in. Ooh. Love the little like scalloped edges around the sleeves. Really cute. Oh my gosh, fabulous. Hello. <gasps> That's my favorite one. Oh my God, stop. So cute. Look at this one. <laughs> Oh, and again, they come in solid colors. Good to know. We've also got this one. It's a little sheer. We've got this. This one's giving cowboy. Can I be honest? Like yeehaw. Oh, I like this one. It's like, it looks like it's made of like satin. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I like that. Again, I'm getting a little bit of cowboy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my God, that's so cute. It looks like blood. Sorry, fabulous. Love this one. Love the neckline. That's so cute. Also cute. Oh my gosh. Is this like a sleep shirt? What is this? It's freaking cute. My favorite one is still this one. I'm sorry. It's so beautiful. Okay, for the bottoms, we have have this really cute pair of shorts in all the same matching colors. We've got this pair of shorts, which I probably won't use that often. We've got these pants. These are nice. I like the little, like how it bunches up by the knee a little bit. That's 
nice. We've got these pants. Oh, this is cute. We've got this skirt. Love that. That's cute. We've got these pants. Not too different from these pants. Just maybe a little wider. Oh. Oh, but I like that pattern. Oh, I like that one too. Okay, I like those pants. We've also got, ooh, I like that belt. That's nice. And we've got this skirt as well. Now to move on to the full body outfits. Starting out strong. Oh, cute. <gasps> I like this one. Oh, I like this one. Next, she's going to work. Okay, she's going to work at the funeral home. That is fabulous. Look at the belt. Oh, oh, look at the different colors. Hello? Love that one. Stop right now. That is so adorable. Oh my God. You going to sleep? So cute. <gasps> is that a bathing suit? Oh, the stripes. I'm obsessed with that. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with that too. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's giving renaissance. I love it. Oh my God. This is cute too. Love that. This one has a hood. Oh, she is not playing around. She didn't come here to play games. Okay, we're back on the farm. Okay. Send, Send her to, her the, to ranch. the ranch. Oh my God. That is, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. <gasps> oh, wow, wow, cute. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> what is that? Oh my God. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Even the thumbnail didn't know what to do with itself. What the? <laughs> Hey, that's so funny. The sunglasses, there's actually little holes. You can see their eyes. Stop. Oh, the makeup? That is so funny. Oh, my vampires are about to get so excited. That is fabulous. Oh wait, there's so many down here. Reaper, Undertaker career. So you unlock these through some of the careers. Look at that Grim Reaper one. Whoa. I couldn't even tell you what my favorite outfit is. I, I have so many. I really love this dress. I mean, I love this one. Maybe for formal wear. I love this top though. I can't get over it. I'm gonna go with this one. I love the little poofy sheer sleeves. I cannot get over it. Accessories. We've got a ring. I wish I could zoom in on that a little bit. We can do it using movie magic. Very cute. And we Oh, never mind. We're in there. It's a skull. Oh, some really cute nails. Well, we have to wear those, obviously. Hey, four new pairs of shoes. Hold on. She's getting put in her bathing suit for a second. Oh, those are really cute. Oh, I actually really like, I like that they have like a little heel on them. We've got these little boots. We've got these, which are definitely my favorite. Oh my God. They're so cute. And we've got these little boots with a cute pattern on them and also solid. We're definitely going to put these on though. Gorgeous. Oh my God. Look at her nails. They look so fierce. I love them. Hello to this man. It's your turn. Whoa, that hair is so fluffy. I love it. <laughs> I actually really like it. Oh my God, Cruella, hello. Love that hair. Oh my God. Wait, I'm obsessed with that. And they have a solid version. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that. I love that. We also have this one, a little more slick back, a little more profesh, the moha. Ooh, okay. And okay, okay. Those are, wait, actually what's going on with this one? Now that I've looked at it for a second, what, what, why is it so big over here? Anyways, this is my favorite. Actually, maybe this. Oh my God, he's little cotton candy. Oh, oh it's time. <laughs> Sorry, let me keep my cool. Facial hair. Oh, scary. Actually, it fits. I understand the vibe. Accessories are the same. Okay, they also got this shirt. Beautiful. This one too. This one's new. Look at that, like a little suit jacket. See, the brown is giving me cowboy. I like it. I got this shirt too. They got this shirt. They got a little, uh, again, it's, it's sort of still giving cowboy to me a little bit. This one too. <laughs> Emo cowboy. Emo cowboy. I like this one actually. No, I love this one. I love a cardigan, oh my God. Oh, there's nothing I love more than a cardigan on a man. Oh, it's fabulous. This is so cute and cozy. That's giving fall. He looks like a pumpkin spice latte. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that too. Oh, that's really cool. That's cute. And this one's nice too. It's got a little scarf for the bottoms. Oh, they've got some little like cuffed shorts. That's cute. They've got these pants, which I believe are the same. I think a couple of these are, I think actually all the pants are the same except the shorts. Full body, cute. Yeah, cowboy. Yeah. Okay, Beetlejuice. Yeah, I'm loving this aesthetic so much. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Very pretty. Very bougie. Very bougie. Oh my God, were you, who are you fighting? in that thing. Oh, that's very nice. Uh -huh. We know, we know. Wait, this one rocks. What's happening here? Oh my God, he's like torn to shreds. What happened to you? Went through the paper shredder. Oh my God, this one too. Oh my, it's giving Sims medieval. Very cool though. For the most part, these two shoes are the same. We have these shoes and then we've got these crazy boots. Is that the only pattern on it that's crazy? Okay, so they're like pretty normal boots, except for this one and this one. But that, that neon green is really something. Children did also get the same hairs and they did also get some really cute outfits. 
look at these. Stop. And they even got these costumes too. Dude, this is so cute. So cute. She got this top. Oh my God, how adorable is that? No bottoms though. So no shoes either, no accessories. Here's for the guys. Oh my God, wait, look at the little suspenders. Oh my God, so cute. That is adorable. And then we've also got these. So pretty similar stuff. No tops, no bottoms. Okay. Toddlers, no hairs. They did get one top. It's got like a pretty moth on it. Oh my gosh, wait, the, the little ruffles are killing me. They're so cute. No bottoms. Four full body outfits? Cute. Even they can be the freaking bird. Oh my God, look at that one. He looks like a little pumpkin. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, so cute. Infants did get four outfits. A win for infants. Look at that ghost. Oh my God. I, are you joking? It even comes in pink. Stop, 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 stop. Look at how adorable that is. And this one too, oh my God. We got little leggings and it looks like that's it for infants. So now let's check out the new traits and aspirations. For aspirations, we have one new aspiration, the ghost historian. This one wants to learn everything about ghosts and use the findings to write spooky horror novels. Um, that might be my favorite, favorite aspiration yet. Look how cute the little icon is. Okay, we also have, I think three, new traits. Chased by death. They know that death follows their every move. While risky and dangerous behaviors may have deadly consequences, frequent near-death experiences give these sims a desire to live each day to the fullest and progress along their soul's journey faster. Keenly aware of their own mortality, these sims feel best when they're achieving something meaningful with their limited time left. Whoa. Cute animation. Ah, uh, that's funny. Okay, macabre. Embrace- am I saying it right? Wait, is it macabre? Macabre? I thought it was macabre. I sound like a bird. Macabre. I prefer that to macabre. Embrace your inner darkness and your occasional intrusions of light. Macabre sims are all about being their best unique sim self while still reveling in all that life and the afterlife has to offer. So is that just another word for saying emo? Embrace your inner darkness. I'm actually, I don't really know what that means. Maybe a pessimist? I don't really know. What, what does that mean? Dwelling on the gruesome. They're just a little, they're just a little on the dark side. And the other trait is skeptical. Not entirely trusting of the majority of things you see or hear. Skeptical Sims like to challenge the universe to provide concrete proof that something is indeed as it might appear. Very cool. You can't have macabre and skeptical at the same time though. They contradict. I would rather do this one. It seems much more dramatic. And let's also just make her a love bug. Yeah. So we'll make him skeptical and chased by death. They might both die before the end of this video. Who knows? And he's a geek. Okay, let's move on to the world. Ravenwood. Things always get a little spooky in Ravenwood. The Whispering Glen with its nightly moon revelry festivities is perhaps the most normal part of the area where locals have settled down for a slice of quiet country life. Crow's Crossing Village, however, is clearly quite haunted. Swing swaying by themselves, that merchant fellow down by the crypt, scary little Edith guarding the well of longing and regret. But despite the hauntings, the living have certainly made it their home as well with a variety of festivals and places to explore. God, I love a festival. Morning Vale is where things get extra ethereal. It's well known as a home for ghosts and those seeking them. Sometimes Grim even stops by. Oh my God, we gotta get in there. Oh, it's so fall. It's so October. Oh my God, Whoa, who is that man? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I feel like this one's gonna be the most fun to look at, so let's save that one for last. <laughs> this is Crow's Crossing. Host a variety of festivals, try before you die. Casket sale, that's really funny. Crow's Crossing celebration of life in Ravenwood Family Day. Ooh, I'm gonna move my Sims onto this big empty lot because I wanna look at all of the items. So we're gonna need some room. But let's check out the world first. Are you kidding me? It's beautiful. Oh my God, who is that man? I sent some lore. Oh, it's really pretty. Very, yeah, very countryside, hilly. So what is there to actually do? And be honest, is it anything? I'm so skeptical, what's that? Look for frogs, whoop de doo Okay, there's a lake. You can fish in the lake. You cannot swim in the lake. There's a bar over here. What's that? What's this? Oh, the Order of Lenore. Formed long ago, the society remains bound under the sacred mission to reunite what was once whole. Lady Raven Dancer, Goth's tarot deck. Lost to the winds and scattered by crows, these fragments lay hidden amongst the realm. Guided by ancient whispers, members have sought to protect these cards before their final convergence can be made. What is going on? Acting as a vessel for favors, perform society member tasks to receive a piece of the puzzle. Wait, this is so cool. Go to Ravenwood festivals and find the helpers for Order of Lenore to learn about the tasks. This is just the beginning. Across Ravenwood, one may use their intuition and exploration to complete the order's efforts and locate the lost tarot cards. For hints to each card's location, view the household collections window by selecting the icon in the inventory panel. What? Wait, I got the high spellcaster. 
Very cool. Okay, back to looking at the world. I got distracted immediately. Oh my God, what's this? We can woohoo in the crypt? You sickos, do it. Hey, look, collectibles. This is good. I need to know which worlds have those for my rags to riches that will inevitably come. Look at this house. It's stunning. Very well landscaped. Ooh. Oh, there they go. Oh, oh my God. What am I hearing crunching around in there? Are those bones? Human remains? I'm gonna catch them coming out of here. You little sickos. Oh, uh, they're wholesome. I don't know about wholesome. Oh, oh my God. Well, that was awesome. Crow's Crossing celebration of life is occurring near the center of Crow's Crossing. Oh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Oh my God, it tells me the whole schedule. What else can we do in here? We can explore the crypts. We can join the career. We can take a nap in here. Oh my God, rags to riches is gonna go crazy. Tell ghost stories. Okay, let's check out some other areas of the world. I also didn't even count the lots. There are 13 lots. Ah, uh, that's nice, 13. Let's go visit the cemetery. Oh, oh my God, our first ghost sighting. And she's breaking it down. Oh my God. Oh my God, we joined her. Do y'all hear anything? <laughs> I don't hear any music at all. I don't know what they're dancing to. Anyways. <gasps> Whoa. Tinned gravesite. What does that mean? Do it. Oh, we're giving it a little refresher. We can light the candles. Oh my gosh, look over here. <gasps> Wait, look at these gravestones. They look so cool. Do these belong to anyone? Oh my God, I forgot he was wearing those boots. It's blank, okay. Wait, this is so cool. Oh my God, who's in there? We could sleep in there. Look at the inside. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Hello? This is literally so beautiful. So this is where you have funerals. Oh my God, that fireplace. It's so beautiful in here. Update frames and flowers. Awesome. Place flower spray tribute, a drape tribute. Oh my God, wait, go do that. We don't even know who's in there. You can do it, man. You don't even know this person. See, you loved it. Wow, what's the flower one? Oh, okay, that's nice. Whoa, are those dead flowers? Oh my God, very cool. And there's more crypts over here. Why can't I try for baby? There's no way. She's not pregnant, come on. Okay, well, let's have a look at the rest of this area. Oh my gosh, is this not the most charming area? It's so cute. Oh, hey, I can't get him. Oh my God. Look at the little ghost, he's floating around. Are you joking me? They're so cute. Oh, what's happening? What's happening over here? Why is everyone dressed up as a bird? Hey, what are we doing? What the, oh my God. Okay, this is a cult. Oh, huh. <laughs> What the, what's going on? Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta just pretend I didn't see that. Wait, check this out. Explore golden oldies vacant house. You can ghostly infest the house. Whoa, that's a mansion. What else can we do? Oh, hey, a ghost. Oh, it's Edith. Oh my God, she's a child. Well, there's nothing scarier than a, a freaking child ghost. <gasps> Wish for a long life, untold riches. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Use intuition. Oh my God, we must. What could go wrong? Why are you crying? What you seek cannot be found. It takes time to develop up a strong intuition. Oh, okay. My intuition is broken. Hey, who's, uh, whose grave is that? If you say Edith, I swear to God. Oh my God. She's right behind me, isn't she? Loved yet misunderstood with a hint of playful mischief when the moon is only particularly a shine, a true moon child. Well, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, we've got another one of these. Another one of the tarot shrines. Other than that, there's just a couple of houses. It looks like another crypt. Oh, there's a telescope up here. Wait, that's kind of fun. Oh, I like, oh, this is cute. I think this is a starter home. What is that? Is this town hall? Whoa. We can start a will. We can use the amenities. Is that like the bathroom? Is that a fancy word for bathroom? We're gonna find out. Why is she mad? Yuck, public restroom. Oh, okay, if I start my will. Oh, it's in her inventory. It's now up to her to decide who is most deserving of each inheritance. Keep in mind that simoleons from her household cannot be passed down to other households unless Aurora is the last sim in the household to die. Gotcha. Look at this. Heirlooms, dependents, simoleons, sim remains. Leave a personal note. Set an emotion. Um, let's do an angry emotion. I'm gonna write a personal note. Did y'all ever have a crispy cream? Was, was it, it crispy? crispy? Right. There it is. Will updated. So I can read my will. The following actions will take effect when Aurora dies. Personal note. Y'all ever have a crispy cream? Was it crispy? Right. This will was written in a way that makes Sims feel angry. <laughs> Imagine you're like, ooh, I wonder what I got in the will, and it's just her talking about donuts. <laughs> Okay, 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 let's move on, let's move on. Let's now go to Morningvale. I'm so excited. There's a nightclub over here. 
Oh my God, look at them. Let's go to the nightclub. Come on, Gregory, pack your bags. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, this is so cool. Look at all the fire. Oh my God, I'm, I'm obsessed. Wait, there's like nothing but ghosts in here. We, um, we kind of like don't fit in. We like need to die or something. Oh, wait, hold on. There's Katrina. Oh wait, the music kind of goes crazy in here. Y'all hear that? Music goes crazy in here. Dude, this is a fancy nightclub. Where's this man going? In a hurry. Oh. Telescope ghost. Very interesting. Okay, we need to have a look around. What's this place? Okay, so this is like the other, like the town hall from Morning Vale. Gotcha. Oh, I wonder if each one has a town hall. What else do we have? Another ghost. Weeping mother? What do you mean weeping mother? What's she doing? Oh my God, she gooed. Ecto puddle. The guardian tree. Refill needs. Aurora must complete Alice's sorrow first. What? Oh my God. This is gonna be a fun pack. I don't wanna play through absolutely everything yet. I'm just sort of getting a feel for the world, but I'm really excited to play. What do we got over here? Another crypt? Okay, okay. A random casket just out in the open. Okay, we got an empty lot here. What do we got going on over here? Another house here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Ring the bell please ring the bell gregory likes spooky music okay ring the bell oh my god it brought all the ghosts to the yard wait 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 wait. how could you think that those are ever scary they are literally the cutest things i've ever seen in my life okay we've got another tarot card shrine what else can we do in this area besides live or die i guess there's the alice thing which is pretty cool uh you can fish over here god i only knows what kind of fish you would get i don't know what this area is for hey you can swim over here okay my girl's floating in the lake okay so you can swim over there this is the guardian tree. And I think that, that might be everything that you can do. Obviously, I think there's festivals and stuff, but not at the moment. Oh my God, wait, wait, this is the thing from the trailer. <gasps> Have an out of body experience. Aurora will become a ghost temporarily. What? Guys, we're going in. <gasps> Aurora has become a ghost temporarily. She can enjoy all the perks of this newfound form while they last, including ghost mastery. Beware that repeated out of body experiences can lead to unseemly side effects, like actually dying. What? What? Can you change back into your other outfit? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Look at this goo waste, spooky diversions. What? Ghost mastery. Whoa. Cool. There's a whole skill tree. Create eerie effects to scare nearby sims. Summon trash puddles and spooky objects. Dude, being a ghost is gonna be like being a, a troll. Turn living sims into temporary ghosts for an ethereal woohoo. What? Instantly remove trash, dirty dishes, puddles, messes, and more. Oh, I see. The ultimate curse. Perform evil activities to fill the meter to unlock this. Benevolent blessing. Oh, you could be the good ghost or the bad ghost. I see. Very cool. I'm gonna explore that a little bit later on. But another thing I want to look at before we start looking at all the objects, the soul's journey. Now, I don't know if I just messed that up because I'm a ghost now. Oh no, I just changed his colors. Okay. The soul's journey denotes the overall satisfaction of Gregory's existence. Filling the soul's journey rewards Gregory with various perks to help them in life, death, and whatever comes afterwards. Some things that increase the soul's journey are completing bucket list goals, completing aspirations, and completing wants. So they're undiscovered. He should consider filling out his goals. They'll naturally accumulate over time for Gregory, or he can explore goals by writing down ideas on a computer or a journal. Journal. Okay. Oh my God. It's the man, the myth, the legend. All right, let's go back to our lot now, now that she's a temporary ghost. And let's look at what all of the objects are for the pack. Hey, somebody left us food on the ground. Sweet. Okay, let's start with the pre-made rooms. Also, this lot is huge. The moonlit cradle, it's a nursery. Oh, cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The aesthetic of this pack is so beautiful. Hallowed hideaway. It's a little bedroom. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Look at this poster. That is so cute. Next, we have another nursery. Let's do this dark one. Whoa, look at the wallpaper. So cute. We have a legacy lounge. A little living room. Let's do the green one. Ooh, I like that wallpaper so much. Oh, I like that couch. We don't have enough money for all of this. Time to muck load a couple of times. Visionary study. Literally say no more, babe. Oh my God. Oh my God, the posters. They look like the tarot cards. Whoa, look at the door. It's huge. Oh, it's fabulous. And we have the Serenity Memorial Grounds, which is like an outdoor funeral, looks like. Cute, pretty. 
Oh man, where do we even begin? Let's start in build mode. I'll put down a nice long wall. Let's check out the wallpapers. Whoa, oh my god, there's so many. Okay, we've got this one for outside. We've also got these stones for outside. I'm definitely gonna use those. Ooh. Oh, I will be using the heck out of that one. Corroded concrete and then the fixed concrete. And it comes in really cute colors. This lighting is a little bit funky. Oh, there you can see the texture a little bit better there. Pretty. Look at that with the skulls. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is my favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so me. And this one too. Oh, good Lord. You know, I'm going to use those so much. Gorgeous. Oh, and they also have different patterns. <gasps> Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. That's so pretty. Hey, they also have owls. Okay, let's look at the doors. So we've got this. Oh, I like that door actually. I know it's supposed to look a little decrepit, but it's pretty. Oh, I like how tall these are. Oh my God. Oh my God, cute. Oh, and I'm loving the green. This is so pretty. For medium walls, they have this door and this door. Oh my good Lord, it's so big. And for tall walls, they have the same door in that size. Wow. For windows, they've got this little guy. They've got this one. They have this one, which I personally always like the more simple ones. I feel like I know how to use those versus things like this. Like these windows are nice, but I just don't know how to build with them. That one's pretty. Oh, I do like that one though. Ooh, I like that one a lot. But those are the windows. And then for medium wall height, you have this one, which kind of sits like this on the inside. Very pretty. Okay, my game crashed. So we lost all that. Let's just pick up where we left off. <laughs> Fences. Does that have hay on it? Oh, straw covered fence. Interesting. Hey, maybe I was onto something with the cowboy theme. Oh, how beautiful is that? It's so pretty. We've got this one. Whoa, they're so pretty. <gasps> Poor Gina. I love it. We also have two gates. We've got the wooden one for these two. And we've got the big gate for this one. Wow, wow. Oh my God, look at the colors. Beautiful. We actually do have two new columns. Oh my God, that second one is crazy. <laughs> it's pretty though. And we have some new spandrels as well. Oh my God, they're massive. They really work more with this one than this one. I mean, that is really gorgeous though. Very grand. We do have one new staircase and it's made of stone. It's really pretty. This would be really good for outdoors. And we have two new railings, the wood and the stone to match the columns. Columns. Beautiful. Absolutely no landscaping. No terrain paints, question mark. Nothing new for pools. Oh my gosh. We did get some new roof tiles. Look how pretty that one is. That might be one of my new favorites. We also have this glass roof. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I really like those. And then we've got holes we can put in the roof. Dude, that's actually really cool. That's super cool. And it's got like this like fake reflection in it. So it looks like you can see inside. That's cool. We've got, honestly, I don't know what these things are. They're very, very fancy. We've got a chimney and we've got this. I don't really know how to build with these. I'm gonna be honest with you, but they are there for your disposal. As for flooring, there is only one, but at least it's good. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice flooring. Big fan of that. And there is also a foundation. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan of that too. Okay. Now it's time to look at the objects. Yay. And it looks like there are quite a few. Dude, this lot is so big. Look how tiny this bed looks on here. First of all, starting out strong. Stunning. I really like that. Oh my God. Second bed. Oh my God. Stop. We have a single bed with a little canopy. The little ghost. I'm actually dead. Fitting for this pack. A bassinet. You look so comfy. I want to get in there. A casket. Very beautiful. A poof. It looks like something that should be at the bottom of the ocean. A rocking chair. Oh, it's got a little cushion on it. It's giving yeehaw. I'm telling you. We've got this chair and we've got this chair. They're nice. We've got this dining chair. It's fine. We've got this office chair, which I actually really do like. We've got another dining chair. <laughs> They love their chairs in this game. And we've got this throne and we've got a bar stool, which I actually really like. Then we've got the elegance sofa. What are the odds that came with a matching love seat? I say it's a 0% chance. Here's a bench. Oh wait, I do like the bench. It's got llamas on it. Here's the love seat. No, it doesn't match at all, but it is a cute love seat. In fact, I like the love seat more than I like the couch. Sorry. Outdoor memorial display. So we've seen these at some of the funerals that we've seen so far. We've got a dirt gravesite. I thought this was mini golf. <laughs> Y'all, I thought it was a putting green. <laughs> I was about to get real excited. I said, oh, mini golf. 
Look at the flowers in it. Lab grown synthetic stone gravesite. What are you talking about? An ottoman. That's a nice ottoman. Oh, <gasps> kitchen stuff. I love when we get kitchen stuff. Oh my gosh. And it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my God. It's fabulous. It's actually fabulous. It's fabulous. Oh, thank God. We've got upper cabinets too. Thank God. We've got a table and a bigger table and a side table, a beautiful nightstand. Let's check out some of the colors of these things. Ooh, oh my gosh, wow, pretty. Pretty. Oh my gosh, there's books in there, I love that. We have this coffee table. We also have this coffee table, which is like a little guy. Ooh, we have this desk. We also have this desk. Lots of surfaces. Hey, this shelf is a ghost. What? There's a little ghost on it, cute. Like a little linen closet thing, that's cute. We've got a cabinet. I don't know what that's for, but it's really nice. I like all these wood tones so much. Another memorial display. A shelf. Back to the wall. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. The haunted hutch. Oh my God. Look at the skulls. So pretty. Quilted memories. Huh. Yeah, the quilt changes. Oh my gosh, cute. That's just like a shelf. Oh, here's the bar back. This goes behind a bar. A pedestal. Oh, so this is like a little surface you could put stuff on. A sink? Another sink. Oh my God. Two sinks? And they're, they're so pretty. And a shower. Look how nice that shower is, you guys. Oh my God. Oh, shut up. Shut up. So pretty. Look at this freaking bathtub. I'm gonna go freaking crazy. Hey, the journal. Okay. Give me a pink journal now. Okay, here's a little memorial picture. <gasps> I've been waiting for this guy. Whispering Ren. Oh my God. What are you? Are you just a little guy? <gasps> shut up. Literally shut up. Make sure to use code Vixella when you get this pack because I know you're all gonna get it now when you see this guy. Hey, the tarot deck. Wait, I thought we had to collect it. Maybe it's different. Oh, but you can put a casket on top of this. Gotcha. Okay, wait, I actually don't know what this does. It's a funeral item, but I don't know what it does. Death podium bar. I'm gonna go put this in front of this. Oh my God, another bar? It's so fancy. <laughs> look at the little, look how cute that is. There's still more guys. There's monkey bars. How beautiful are those? Very pretty. This towel is great to rest on before you oh okay a little outdoor towel memorial cannon well i have to see what that does swings oh my god look at those swings <gasps> oh my god oh my god i'm obsessed and then look at these oh it's so creepy both of them are so creepy i love them here's the crypt the pole in the dark oh i see it goes with this oh pretty oh my god wait there's so many things there's the memorial wreath there is a sign board of course it changes and here's the flowers oh my gosh look at all the headstones we've got this one and they do have different colors as well we've got the raven we've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one. Whoa, here's a little memorial ensemble. Oh, hey buddy, hey Ren. We've also got this one, the classic casket. Oh, now we got a little bit of decor. Hold on, let me go back to my tables. Beautiful flowers. And if you choose these, it kind of looks like they're dead. I guess they all kind of look like they're dead. What's this one? Ooh, that's pretty. And we've also got this one. Very cute. Okay, looks like we have some grimy wall decals. Wait, there's so many. We also have this decal. Comes in lots of different patterns. We have these posters. Oh, and they all change. Wow. I knew this was the tarot prince. Yep. Look at that. You got all of them, dude. There's a Bone Hilda one. Oh my God. I'm gonna freak. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry. I love that item. Look at this. Whoa. So cool. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. That's so scary. I love it. There's also a mirror. Oh, that's a really, really pretty mirror. I will definitely be using that. No ghosts allowed sign. The dancing raven tarot tint. What does that do? It's just an environment. So I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's functional or not. It's so cute though. The writer's quill, nectar bottles. Very cute. Look at these bottles. Secret goopy bottles. We've got Freezer Bunny's Grim Day Out. Oh my God, he's so tiny. Johnny the Jarred Ghosts. Johnny? Oh my God, let him out. Oh my God, rugs. Dude, it's pretty. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. The rugs are good. Oh, the rugs are good. We won. There's also a round rug. Oh, we won. Yeah, we're winning. Oh my God, there's another Another one. Oh, it's the same as the little one, but big size. We won. Oh my God, this fireplace. What? It won't even fit, dude. It has to be medium wall height, at least. Good to know. Write that down. So pretty. We've also got these curtains. It's a curtain arch. Dude, you should like walk through this. No? If you put an arch in the house, couldn't you just walk through that? This is called Since You've Been Gone. That's funny. A plus to whoever wrote that. It's an incense holder. That's funny. Urn of Yearning. It's so pretty. Trunk of Secrets. Is that an actual bird? Is that real? Nibbles the Grim Turn. Nibbles, dude. Nibbles. 
<laughs> I'm obsessed with nipples. This really pretty lamp. This really pretty lamp. Look at this sconce. Oh my god, I love. Look at this one. Oh my god. For outside, that's so pretty. Wait, there's more. Look at that one. Look at that one. What is this? Oh my god. Guys, the items just keep going. I'm all over the place. Okay, we've got a TV stand here. We've got a grandfather clock, of course. A refrigerator? A stove? A fit hood? Dishwasher, yo, we won, dude. Look at the book, the bookends. Stop. A bookcase. Oh, 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 oh. There's one there. There's another bookcase here. So beautiful. Oh my god, it's so freaking pretty. Another bookcase for your super tall ceilings. A dresser. I am not organized at all. Like, look, what, what, what are we doing out here? <gasps> Wait, is that everything? That's everything. Those are all the items. Oh wow. I, I don't even know if I deleted any or not. I can't remember. Dude, look at this one. It's torchin. So this is where you can write your bucket list. Write the perfect goal. I want to get busy. I want to party. I want to create. I want to travel. Write goal from category. I want adventure. I want success. I want to create. I want something else. Or write goal. What happens if, if I just want to write a goal? Did you write a goal? I want to party. Do I get to see what you write? Oh, I do. It's right here on her. Oh, here it is. I want to go on the best date ever. I want to throw the most bizarre costume party of all time. Wait, that's so fun. And it looks like you can click things and make them an heirloom. Look up historical deaths. Whoa. You can make things heirloom. Maybe that's something you can do after you write your will. Aurora has designated an heirloom. This object is clearly very special to her. Okay, so now I can write in my will who I want to send that to. Gotcha. Oh yeah, so this doesn't do anything. It's just for decoration. Boring. Oh my gosh, look. Cool. Oh, that's a real bird and it's talking to me. The tarot card deck has to be in her inventory to use it, but I can draw a daily reading. Oh, she didn't like what she saw. <gasps> Swords reverse. I get to read it. This is fun. Hot air balloon or hot headed. It seems your emotions have gotten too sharp and it's time to let off some steam. Fighting or smashing a dollhouse is desired. Okay, they're looking at the sky. Is there any reason why he's glowing? Just wondering. Okay, last thing I wanna do is check out what this says. The Reaper career. The time is nigh to don a robe and become a Reaper. As Grimm's employee, you'll be able to climb his triangular ladder and gain rewards like discussing deathly business and owning a timeless hourglass. Scry your way to the top and earn being Grimm's right hand while unlocking a truly Grimm-worthy outfit as you spread death's touch wherever you go. Interesting. There's also the under Undertaker, which is your more typical rabbit hole job. Service both the living and the dead by undertaking this position. From grave digging to embalming, sims who pursue a career in the funeral industry ensure all sims are able to move on in peace. Specializing in this before afterlife care prepares you for difficult moments like discussing end of life services or contemplating existence. Six feet in, you may be rewarded with a plague mask, a Murphy membrane bust, or a corpus commendation plaque. I can't read. Corpus commendation plaque to honor your achievements. So you can do the mortician branch or the funeral branch director branch. That we, that we interesting. All right, but I do think that is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. We checked out Create a Sim, we checked out the world, and we checked out all of the build and buy objects. So now all that's left is for me to play this thing, huh? Well, that is gonna be all for me today. I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you're excited. Don't forget to use code Pixel if you buy the pack. Love you. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.